has the steam gone away from no no not not at all but um you know i i said it after uh you know we didn't make it but we have nobody to blame but ourselves and you know i'm disappointed for our seniors um, nick and sean you know they've been a joy for me to be around them and you know, any success we've had since I've been there has been because of, you know, them and their leadership. Um, and I, you know, I don't want us alibying. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I've been trying to figure out how I could pump them up. You know, I thank God I have my grandkids here with me. They were rooming with me because I don't know what I would have done last night. Um, but, uh, June came in and talked to our team, which was pretty neat. And uh, I think now we just got to get ready for a great opportunity. You know, we're playing in the NIT. Um, we're playing at home. So we've got to do everything we can to learn from this and uh, move forward and use it as a positive. What did June talk about? He had all these quotes, you know, football coaches. <laughs> <laughs> got to hit them harder, run faster, be tougher. No, no. He, uh, he was great. Um, I didn't tell him what to say, but he basically talked about how you handle adversity, how you handle tough situations, you know, because it's, you're going to have difficult times in your life and you're either going to pack it in or you're going to learn from it and move on. But he, he had a lot of great examples about it. Um, but he cares deeply about our program and our school. And you could sense that when he's talking to our team, and that's what I wanted him to, to hear. How much do you feel like you guys can make a statement now in the NIT or prove to somebody that they made a mistake? Is that part of what you're going to use to try to pump the guys up a little bit? No, I mean, my, my message for the last two weeks or the last three weeks, let's send Nick Russell and Sean Williams out the right way as, as winners. Um, and our goal was to get to the NCAA tournament. Um, I'm not getting into whether we were slighted or not. I think our conference was slighted. I'm, I'm really disappointed that Louisville's a four seed, Cincinnati's a five seed, Connecticut seven, and Cincinnati an eight. I mean, uh, Memphis an eight. That bothers me. But the only thing I want to prove is that we're men enough to understand that we got to learn from this and prepare ourselves to do better. So um, we got to we got to be ready to play against Cal Irvine. We got to show up and compete at a high level and want to make this season end the right way. And that's that's all I'm talking about. When the committee says that the schedule, non-conference schedule is soft, and that's why you don't make it, do you have to revisit well, what, scheduling? No. I mean, Rhode Island wasn't supposed to be bad. You know, we beat Wyoming when they were healthy there. Nobody else did. Um, you didn't expect TCU or A&M to be down. We, who's going to come to Moody? You know, well, we played Virginia. You know, played at Arkansas. Um, we, n nobody took into consideration, we played seven games on a neutral court, never shot, never shot around in Garland, never had a practice in Garland. I would, I would think that would be something that would be significant. You know, they talked about injuries. You know, our little guard was hurt at the end of the season and we lost our starting center. So, no, I'm, I mean, strength of schedule, some years they, Look at it, some years they don't. 2004 was the last time a ranked team didn't make the NCAA tournament, Utah State. I don't know when it happened before that, or if it ever did, so. But again, we had a chance, you know. We had a chance, we, if we could have taken care of business, if we didn't act silly, if we acted mature, and, you know, with great character, we, Probably be sitting here talking about where we're going to play in the NCAA tournament, but it didn't happen. And I feel bad for our fans, really bad for them. But 
we're going to move forward and do better for it. It's just uh, the NIT is, is it kind of a, of course you want to win every game, but is it kind of maybe tougher if you can get past that first game and win it than, than you kind of get on a roll again? Yeah, it's, it's not easy. You know, it, one, I thought, I thought it was a great thing when the NCAA took it over and rewarded teams that won their tur conference but didn't win the tournament, that they would have an, have an automatic buy. So right off the bat, you got 14 teams that won their, their lead, and we're playing one of them. Uh, and then, you know, it cuts down on the pool of at-large teams. You know, they only had 19 slots, I think. Or something like that. So you got quality teams that didn't even get in. Can you imagine Indiana, Maryland, Marquette programs like that not playing in the NIT? So it's a terrific tournament. Um, my thing is, I, I want this to continue because when I was at UCLA or Kansas or North Carolina, when you went to the NCAA tournament, it gave you extra practice time. You played against great teams in great environments. So it helped your program really develop. So I'm hopeful we can use this as an opportunity to play some big games in a tournament environment and keep practicing where our young kids get better. I think Sean used the phrase, Sean said something about playing with a chip on their shoulders. Is that a good way to approach games like this with a little bit of anger? I wish we would have had anger, you know, three weeks ago. But uh, yeah, I'm for Sean. You know, Nick Russell said it best. He said, I'm not letting Sean, you know, end his career the way, the way it did in Memphis. You know, uh, we all owe it to him because it, you know, me coming here was, was a blessing because I learned to love this school and these kids. Um, but Sean Williams is the kind of kid that I want to play. I want to play at SMU. Um, he exemplifies that everything that's good in college athletics. And if him playing with a chip on his shoulder helps, I'm, I'm all for it. But I just, I want to hang out with him a little bit longer. I don't want those two kids to, you know, leave me before hopefully I get three more weeks with him.